Bundle up for a cold night out there. Here's Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz. That's right. Here's another live look at Balloon Fiesta Park. You see, we don't see any balloons uh, laying out on the field as of yet. We'll know more from the Balloon Fiesta Committee around uh, during the 6 o'clock hour. We're 65 degrees at the park right now, but the winds gust up to around 19 miles an hour. And really, for between 7 and 8 o'clock tonight, it looks like the winds will be 10 to 15 miles an hour, which is really not all that favorable for a Glodio. But hey, check it out for tomorrow morning. It will be cold. Bundle up. They'll be in the mid 30s, but wow. Wow, looking really good for those balloons to get up in the air and get that uh, rodeo going on. But it's bouncing around right now with the winds around. Cold morning, cool afternoon, the weekend turning milder. And as we look at the weekend, the eclipse and the rest of Fiesta looking really, really good. So here's what we're expecting right now. Temperatures to drop behind the front that moved on through. So the end of the growing season with this freeze warning. Raton, Las Vegas, Santa Fe, Española, Farmington and areas to the west of Socorro. So make the necessary precautions. Here's that front it will be pulling away from us and the winds will be coming down after that cold start. We will have improving conditions now tomorrow morning. This 38 that'll be the coldest temperature since uh, April. So uh, yeah, you're going to have to layer up and blow normal temperatures in the afternoon, but we'll have sunshine and not much wind. So it'll be pretty pleasant if you dress appropriately. Seven o'clock in the morning statewide. You see uh, freezing temperatures as expected to the north and west for the noon hour. Still on the chilly side. Look at the 50s in Santa Fe on into Albuquerque and cooler eastern parts of the state and cool with sunshine elsewhere. Now here is eclipse Sunday, Saturday morning, I should say, and we'll see some high clouds, not low clouds, not mid-level clouds, but thin high clouds from time to time. So the eclipse could be muted at times. That's about it. But then as we uh, go on into Saturday afternoon, of course, uh, looking really good for your outdoor activities and milder weather continues to work in for the end of your weekend and a good, uh, a good farewell to Balloon Fiesta. It looks like good flying days over the weekend as well, along with the glow looking good. All right, we'll be uh, cold tomorrow in the freezing level and then temperatures on that day by day warming trend in the afternoon throughout the Farmington area. 71 in Silver City, 76 in Truth or Con consequences and look at that day by day warming trend continuing on into the first part of the upcoming work week. 66 in Ruidoso, very comfortable one expected there. 75 in Alamogordo after being the mid to upper 80s. Look at that uh, cool down that they're seeing Roswell for tomorrow and then dropping into the 40s. So uh, invigorating start on the day finally over there. Finally less wind from the uh, East Mountains on into northeastern parts of New Mexico. Freezing temperatures in Las Vegas the next couple of days by Tuesday in the mid 70s. Northern Mountains 20 23 in Chama, high of 56 degrees. If you're out enjoying all the fall colors this weekend, it looks pretty pleasant as we uh, get with those cold mornings. We'll see that warming trend through the weekend on into early next week in the Santa Fe area, the metro area, a cold start again, the coldest that we've had since uh, April. But in the afternoon, below normal temperatures, less wind, a few high clouds from time to time for the eclipse, but otherwise really, really pleasant. 75 degrees and check it out. We'll be hitting that 80 degree mark before temperature start to plunge again as we get deeper into next week. So much, much better in the days ahead for the closeout of the Balloon Fiesta, Shelley. All right.